You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Today I have Michelle Brace uh, kind of behind the scenes and now in front of the scenes from the Council on Aging. Welcome, Michelle. Thank you for having me here today. Nice to see you. You uh, help uh, Janice Fitzgerald and the wonderful staff over there put on all these great events for the seniors. Yes, we do. You love your job, I can tell. I absolutely do. We have fabulous seniors in the community, and it's a pleasure to serve them and help them get what they need. So we're going to talk about March events, okay? which means spring's around the corner. Thank you. <laughs> um, and hopefully we'll keep the snow away yes. up until then. But uh, first one I understand that's coming up is there's something you're doing dealing with Alzheimer's in the early part of March. Tell us about it. Yes, on Monday, March 7th at 1 o'clock, we have Jennifer Holdley from the Alzheimer's Association, and she's going to do an educational program on how to effectively have communication strategies for loved ones with Alzheimer's disease. Um, specifically because people with Alzheimer's disease respond more to the tone of your voice, your body gestures, your facial expressions. Mm -hmm. So that she's going to talk about that and give you lessons of how to communicate to loved ones with Alzheimer's disease. Which, um, if, if you think about it, um, you know, sometimes I might be in mid-sentence and I might not finish it because I don't remember what I was going to say. Absolutely. I, I, not joking about it or anything. I call it sometimes. Like sometimes I remember. Yeah. But when you have a loved one with Alzheimer's, you got to be a really good person to understand how to deal with that. I think the strategies for coping with that cuz there's no instruction manual for that. If you you have someone who's been sharp all their lives and then, you know, unfortunately are afflicted with this, where where right now there isn't a cure for it, you can slow it down, you can do certain things. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's very important and it affects a lot of people, a lot more people than we know. It absolutely does. It, it's actually the largest diagnosed form of dementia in the world. So it's really important and it can be more frustrating sometimes for the family members mm -hmm. than it is for the person that has Alzheimer's disease just because, you know, they're looking for their loved one as they've always been when the person that has the disease itself usually just joins the journey because they have no alternative to it. Mm -hmm. So it's really teaching family members how to join their loved one's journey and be effective with their communications with them. Okay, so look forward to that. Coming up right after that, there, I don't even understand what this means, so you're going to have to explain it. It says okay. SALT tri tri triad, triad and the COA, they host a, you're hosting a breakfast with the police chief, John Crowley. Mm -hmm. What is SALT and what is TRIAD? SALT is Seniors in Law Enforcement Together, and TRIAD focuses on keeping seniors safe within the community. So if there's any kind of informational services or scams out there, they'll educate seniors. So the two are made up of representatives from the mayor's office, seniors that volunteered for SALT, um, the fire department, the police department, the district attorney's office, and... It says Sheriff, and Bema, Bema mm -hmm. and Old Colony Elderly and Services. And Old Colony, right. So that's on Monday, March 14th at 9.30. At 9.30, and, and it's free of charge. People mm -hmm. just have to sign up for the events at the Council on Aging. Yeah, and you guys are pretty efficient with sign-ups and everything. You have that list and check it twice. And we do. You're on there. There you go. Well, and I think sometimes people think they have to come to the Council on Aging to sign up, but mm -hmm. as long as there's not a cost involved, they can always call over the phone and sign up that way so they don't have to make a special trip down just to sign up. And I know you handed me the newsletter, which you do send out, but it's also on the city website. Yes. There's a whole tab for... Uh, Council on Aging. Yes, so you if you go to government, departments, and then Council on Aging, there's a listing for the newsletter and it's posted each It's all week. there, the mayor's message, the director's message, you have a whole calendar mm -hmm. in there, you have all the different events, you know, it's just jam-packed with stuff. There's always something to do. There really there. is, and there's a wide variety of events. We have health education events, we have social events, recreational events, um, we have physical activities if people are looking for exercise programs that are geared toward seniors. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes they're apprehensive to go to a gym or the Y. They're not sure if it's a program they can do. So we have everything from aerobics to Zumba and mm. pretty much everything in between. And Zumba's gotten really popular. You also yeah. have things, you have a computer room over there? We do, Correct. and we have computer classes which are free, mm -hmm. and they're led by seniors teaching seniors. Mm. So that makes a huge difference for frustration level with seniors and computers. It was my favorite thing to do. Over at Massasoit for a while, they had SeniorNet. 
Mm -hmm. And it was in a room over in the student center. And one semester I didn't teach my two classes. I didn't have two, I had one. Mm -hmm. So I got roped in, which I was happy about, by Nancy Smith, a good friend of mine, mm -hmm. who's on my board here and on the library board. And I taught seniors to use computers. Like my dad, my dad is 89. My dad yeah. uses his computer, he reads blogs on the computer. Computer. I cannot teach him to do an email because he <laughs> wants to put the email on the subject line. It doesn't yeah. quite work that way. <laughs> but why does he need email and why does he need Facebook? But what's funny is it connects people together. Absolutely. And a lot of forms of communication are written on the computer now. You know, you're always hearing about twitting and tweeting and IMing is even out of date, you know. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the things that are available to seniors that they need to apply for as far as, as assistance are online. And unfortunately, a lot of them get left behind because they don't have the opportunity to use the computer. Mm -hmm. So they do there. Yes, absolutely. And it doesn't cost them. No, and they can come and use the computers in between class any time that we're open. Now, is there a cost to be a member at the Council on Aging? That's a tricky question, because people think there is. There is no actual membership fee. You mm -hmm. can make a voluntary donation once a year of $10, and that helps pay. It goes directly to our friends group, which is our fundraising organization at the Council on Aging. Mm -hmm. And it gets used to support things like parties and speakers that we have at the Council. Now, I notice, um, you know, all the time at all the different events. First of all, you gave me the... I guess the bad news that the St. Patrick's Day event is sold out. It is full. It's, it's, it's a done deal. Our if parties. You snooze, you lose. You didn't get there. Yeah, they kind of sell out in a day, pretty much. Okay. So. But after that, later in March, um, each of the people that are elected officials, you know, different city councilors, the mayor, um, one of the state reps is coming to talk to the seniors. Who's that? It's uh, State Representative Claire Cronin, and she's coming to do community conversations with the seniors. Mm -hmm. And with her will actually be Denise C. Garlick, who is also a state representative, and she's the chair for the Joint Committee on Elder Affairs for the Massachusetts leg Legislature. Mm -hmm. So she'll be there as well. And they want to talk about different programs that are in place in Massachusetts that support seniors throughout the community that they might not be aware of. Mm -hmm. And then they're also looking forward to hearing the concerns of the se seniors within the city and what the issues are that they face on a daily basis to plan for the future to help seniors have a better quality of life. So that one's on Monday, March 28th, and that's 10 to 11? Yes. Okay, and the phone number for people to call, you said people could call you? They can. It's 508-580-7811. Okay. Anything else you want to add? You were talking to me a little bit before about outreach or... We have, what? yeah, absolutely. We have a wonderful outreach coordinator. Her name's Dottie Slack. Mm -hmm. um, and she's with us and she does, she's a, a registered nurse. She's also a SHINE counselor. So she helps people do everything from find the best insurance for them, um, things like that. If somebody needs assistance applying for SNAP, which is food stamps. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have representatives that will help apply for fuel assistance. Meals on Wheels. We have like Meals that. on, yep, if anybody needs that, they would contact Old Colony Elder Services. Um, but OCES actually provides congregate meals for us twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. So if somebody's looking for a hot meal, if they're 60 or older, they can always just call over the phone and sign up for the meal. 60 or older, okay, so I'm inching my way up there. That's the I'm not too far away. That's the only criteria for right. coming to participate at the Council on Aging is you have to be 60 or older. Not to mention, if you look at this publication, there's also trips, there, there are costs to that, but they're all affordable. You keep them low so people, because we all know seniors are on a fixed income. Absolutely. We try okay. to keep it reasonable for people. We have a lot of good trips coming up, actually. Tomorrow they're going to the Rhode Island Flower Show. Oh, cool. So yeah. we will have you back. We'll talk about more events going on. And just last thing, web, you, the website is through the city website, correct? Yes, just go to City of Brockton. Okay, perfect. Well, Michelle, thank you for being on. And thank we will you. be over there to cover some of these wonderful events. They're wonderful people. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.